Richard Dawson was the original host of Family Feud from 1976 to 85. The show was a huge hit and an instant success, mainly due to Richard's charismatic and honest hosting style. But the show was not without its controversies, and Richard did clash with producers at times. In this video, you'll learn what really happened behind the scenes in the nine years Richard Dawson hosted the wildly popular show. Richard Dawson Kissed Contestants Dawson's habit of regularly kissing female contestants was the biggest controversy on the show. He would kiss them on the cheeks, hands, and sometimes directly on the lips. Richard said he started doing it when he noticed how nervous a contestant was when she was trying to answer a simple question. Specifically, she could not name a green vegetable. Richard kissed her, she answered the question, and her family ended up being the winners of the night. Richard said when he was young, his mother would kiss him and say, may God bless all the little children of the world when he was nervous, and it would always make him feel safe and comforted. He says he only does the kissing for love and luck. About a month after he adopted the kissing, the network tried to put a stop to it and claimed they were getting many complaints. He was told by executives that the show's advertisers felt it was inappropriate to kiss women without knowing their relationship status. After Richard was told to stop, he used airtime during the show to speak directly to the audience and viewers, to tell them to contact the network with their thoughts on the kissing. Based on the thousands of letters the show received, the majority of viewers supported it. Richard Dawson alleged that the only people that honestly had an issue with his kissing were racially motivated. He said those people didn't like that he was kissing everyone, including black women. But it was said contestants had to fill out a form prior to coming on the show, and they were asked beforehand whether or not it was okay if Richard kissed them. Apparently, very few women said no. Family Feud contestant became the host's wife One contestant who received a kiss from Richard went on to become his wife. Gretchen Johnson went on the show in 1981, and Richard was immediately smitten. He ended up kissing her four times that show. He felt an instant, strong chemistry with her and asked her out after the show. At first, she rejected his advances, but eventually agreed to go on a date. Although it went clumsily, they realized they shared a mutual romantic connection. Many fans of the show didn't support the relationship because of Richard and Gretchen's 25-year age gap, but their relationship was for the long haul. They had a daughter in 1990 and got married in 91. When Richard came back to the show in 94 to host for one season, he stopped greeting the female contestants with kisses like he used to. This was due to his daughter Shannon. He promised her he would only kiss mom. Although many people were disappointed Richard didn't adopt his kissing again, it was for a good reason. Richard and his wife stayed married until his death in 2012. Although his daughter Shannon convinced Richard to quit smoking his four packs of cigarettes a day in 1994, he died of esophageal cancer. In one of his last interviews, Richard says the many decades he shared with his wife Gretchen were the best of his life, and he was an intensely lucky man. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more, and stick around for more about Richard Dawson. Richard Dawson's Unique Style One of the reasons Family Feud was so popular was because of Richard Dawson's unique style of hosting. He had great comedic timing and regularly engaged in witty banter with the contestants. He even coined the term, Survey Says, one of the most recognizable phrases still used on the show today. But his back-and-forth conversations with the contestants, although entertaining, was somewhat surprising and at times controversial. He was blunt and didn't hold back his thoughts. If Richard didn't like a contestant, he didn't try to pretend he did. Sometimes if a contestant gave a wacky answer, he would ask them if they were on drugs. In one instance, he told a player to start reading more books and watching less television. It was said that although he was very welcoming and friendly, he also had a sarcastic and fiery streak that was apparent on the show. He rarely held back his truths and wasn't afraid to put contestants in their place. Despite this, many people who worked with him said that even when his ego inflated at the height of his fame, he still had a very caring and generous side. He won an Emmy in 1978 for Best Daytime Game Show Host. Richard Dawson's Clashes Behind the Scenes For the first few years of Family Feud, Richard got along well with the show's producers. But biographer David Baber mentions that success and fame affected Richard and the show, especially after he won the Emmy for Best Daytime Game Show Host. 
It was said that after winning, he believed he was always right and developed an air of arrogance. He became difficult and more demanding to work with. But because he was so popular and Family Feud was the number one daytime show, he usually got his way, even if producers disagreed. When producer Howard Felsher had to make a decision about whether or not an answer could be accepted, Richard would overrule his decision on camera if he didn't agree. In 1983, after years of clashing and fighting, Richard had Howard banned from the set, although Howard did keep his salary and retained the title of executive producer. Richard Dawson's Legacy Before Richard reached the pinnacle of his career with Family Feud, he was mainly known for his roles on Hogan's Heroes and Match Game. On Match Game, Richard was known for his comedic one-liners and zingers, but when he started hosting Family Feud in 1976, he continued to do Match Game for another two years. And once he started hosting Family Feud, his behavior on the set of Match Game changed completely. He was no longer joking around or putting any effort in it to be funny or even converse with the panel and host. He wouldn't speak until he was spoken to. Conversely, on Family Feud, he was his old self because he was the center of attention. He simply showed up to Match Game, but on Family Feud, he put all his talent and energy in. By the time Richard Dawson left Family Feud, the competition in the game show world had grown significantly, which contributed to a decline in ratings and ultimately led to the show's cancellation. Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy exploded in popularity and became staples, and Family Feud ended in 1985. It came back to television in 1988 with a new host before going back off the air in 95 after Richard came back to host a single season. It returned in 1999 and has been on TV ever since. After Richard left Family Feud, his career mostly dropped off. He didn't do much other than a few voiceover roles and was for the most part retired. He died in 2012 and he always remembered his years on Family Feud as the fondest time of his career. Family Feud has had six hosts in total so far, with the most recent being Steve Harvey. He's hosted the longest out of all the former hosts. Which Family Feud host is your favorite? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.